back to Fix It Friday. Today I'm going to show you how to release something that's been embedded in epoxy. So here's what we're going to be working on today. This is a processor module from a old Burger Time machine. And as you can see, Data East wanted to keep their secrets safe from the other manufacturers. And so they potted everything in epoxy. And um, I can't get another one of these, so we're going to have to figure out how to fix it. Um, I've done some testing and I've determined that there's a couple of shorts in here in the logic or uh, maybe in the processor and so we're going to have to free it from its epoxy so we can work on it. Any of you that's ever worked with epoxy will know that it gets really hard, uh, almost like glass. And um, But every epoxy has a sort of a melting temperature and that's called the glass transition temperature. And um, that's where the, uh, the epoxy goes from this hard glass state to something more like uh, a putty. Um, and hopefully we can uh, get our epoxy hot enough uh, to reach that phase without damaging the chips inside. Now, since the glass transition temperature is about 200 degrees Fahrenheit, I'm going to try to boil it. But uh, I needed something to protect the plastic casing from the element here. And uh, I would have normally used marbles, but I couldn't find any. So I broke up a, a bottle in here. And that should work really well for insulating the, uh, the plastic from the element and just exposing it to about 212 degrees Fahrenheit. it. I got all of the epoxy off of my circuit board and it's definitely in a condition where I can still repair it. So I hope this video helps you and uh, don't forget to like and subscribe and ask questions if you have any. And as always, thanks for watching and we'll be back next Friday.